okay, I don't know if you can tell or not, but the conference is actually still going on right now. I'm still in the interest of time thing came on right now for um Call of Duty, but I'm done. I don't even care about this conference anymore. Let me just first of all, let me tell you about the conference, what I thought about. I'm doing differently this time. You guys know how I always go ahead and say, hey, this is my thoughts on the conference, and I give you the rundown. No, not this time. I'm actually gonna tell you exactly what I thought about the conference, and then, you know, let you know when I'm about to hit the rundown, so you ain't gotta waste your life, you know? So check it out. First of all, I don't think Microsoft understands this is not CES, this is E3. I mean, I know it's called electronics, you know, but I mean, the thing is, is that it's about games. It's not supposed to be about, you know, things like all the, like all the stuff they mentioned in the later part of the game should have been set for um, CES, not for E3. What is wrong with you, Microsoft? Do you not understand that? Anyway, like I said, I rated about a four out of 10 and that's really being nice about it. Now, you guys already got that. Let's jump down to everything that I thought, how it went. But first of all, it started decent. Halo 4 gameplay showed a brand new heads-up display. Um, the person talking is the upper left-hand corner. That's been done before. Um, the fauna and fauna of the game actually looked pretty good, including blooms, like blooming light that came out there. The game's going to be a negative 720p. So that was like the first actual HD Halo game. So it all started out pretty good, right? Um, I give that one about... No, hold on. Let me keep going. Um, you, had, you know, it was way better graphics. It kind of looked like... Um, a better version of, uh, what do you call that game? Um, uh, Metroid Prime, you know, in my opinion. But let's keep on going. They had new weapons, brand new weapons that actually did look good. The weapons were actually kind of futuristic. Uh, it was actually like when you picked up a weapon, it was like a transformer. You know, I was like, whoa, okay. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, what else? Oh, the helms have infrared vision like ODST had. And that was pretty much it. We didn't really get no information on Halo 4 like we thought we was going to get. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that Microsoft is going to go ahead later on and give us all the information later on. But that should have been for the conference, Microsoft. What is wrong with you? But no, you wasted other time on other stuff. But anyway, we're going to jump into that in a minute, too. So, um, what else? Oh, Don Matcher came out and said that the number one console sales, is, the Xbox is the number one in terms of console sales. Really? It is? When? You sure? Because I don't see how... I don't think that. I don't think so. But anyway, next game, Splinter Cell Blacklist. Now, this is the game I'm picking up on PC, so I ain't even worried about it, really, um, on being on the Xbox. It looked great. It looked fantastic. Uh, he was at, um, they did have some connect connectivity, if you will, but nothing that was going to make me go ahead and um, get it for this particular system here. You know, to be honest with you, it was nothing that I felt that was really required to go ahead and get it, you know? Plus... Well, I'm going to get into that, all that later on um, in another video. So, let's keep on going. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Hard 8 Times realized that that actually might have been the best-looking game on the Xbox 360 to date. I agree. Um, that game actually was the best one. They did a quick trailer for Fable The Journey. I'm glad they did a quick trailer. Believe me. Um, next game was Forza Horizon, which comes out on October 23rd, 2012. That's fine. I mean, it's a racing game. No information on it. Why would we not get no information on it? I don't understand. Does Microsoft not know what this is? This is not CES. This is E3. This is for the games, not for the tech. Whatever. Anyway, um, um, what is it? Yusuf Medi or something like that came out. He talked about some different things that um that um, Xbox was having. Now, this was actually decent. This was my, my, one of the subpar decent parts. He talked about a couple of apps that are actually coming to the Xbox, including a Nickelodeon app. Now, a lot, a lot of people are like, why? No. But understand something. The Nickelodeon app actually is going to have things like Avatar and things of that nature. So I like Avatar, you know. That's pretty much it, you know. So imagine if that's the high point of my uh, – if that, to me, if that's a high point, then you obviously know there was not too many uh, real high points in here. They also uh, mentioned how um, – um, what is it? Um, I think it's pronounced uh, Vidition, you know, basically a, 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 um, an application that basically showed, um, oh, I'm sorry, Spanish shows, whatever. Uh, Machinima is actually coming. That's actually pretty good. Machinima is actually coming to Xbox. That actually was decent. Then it started dropping downhill from here. Sorry, my, I just accidentally paused it. Xbox. Play. 
Anyway, keep on going. Now, it also mentioned how ESPN was going to start growing, which I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. But then it said that um, they're going to release NBA and NHL is going to come to the Xbox 360. Well, wait a minute. If ESPN's already there and it's growing, doesn't that kind of make that one and the baseball irrelevant? That doesn't make any sense. Nonetheless, let's keep on going. You know, you understand where I'm going with this, right? It's crazy. Now, they also mentioned um, they're going to have something called Xbox Music. Okay, fine. It's going to be on PCs, phones, and Xbox. Fair enough. Next, they have um, um, Steph, um, Stefan Orlander talk about the new Nike Plus training thing. I thought that was pretty good. I also noticed that they kept trying to go ahead and um, like kind of plug the Nokia phone in every trailer they possibly could get to. But let's keep going. Uh, Mark Whitman came out and talked about the Smart Glass. And the Smart Glass was actually all right. Um, they used it for a... Um, they used it for a... Um, a, a mouse, if you will, for the new um, Internet Explorer that will be on the Xbox 360. Now, that being said, they didn't. I'm kind of surprised it took them so damn long to actually put it on there, but whatever's whatever. I guess we'll just keep on going. I mean, I also noticed that they didn't show any real um, good websites that actually did Flash or anything like that, like YouTube, for the love of Christ. But whatever, I digress. Um, what else? Um, they also showed how the tablet... Is going to actually be, uh, you're going to be able to use a tablet in certain games and things of that nature. I mean, I saw that. Hold on a second. I'm sure it's this damn thing off. I saw that. I was like, eh, whatever. It still wasn't good, you know? Long or short of it, I'm done. I mean, I I'm kind of, oh, Xbox games come to Windows 8. That's fine. Um, we also heard about Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider was looking good. Um, Everything else was pretty much not even worth it. Oh, I'm sorry, South Park. I thought South Park was kind of funny. The reason why I thought it was funny is because the guys actually came out and made fun of Microsoft's conference, but like kind of under the under the key thing. It was kind of funny. It was like, you know, but you had to watch to get it, I guess. But and then Usher came out and danced. I'm done. Like, seriously. Xbox literally has nothing for me anymore. They they're done. They're done. They have nothing. They've turned themselves into a this whole entertainment hub, which in most cases I don't mind. It's actually pretty good. I like an entertainment hub. But the fact of the matter is, is that, to be honest with you, I don't even use most of the games that are actually located um excuse me, I don't even use a lot of those. I use like like for watching TV, I use Amazon, you know, things of that nature. I don't know. I'm just saying it was a fail. I rate about a four out of ten. In all honesty, I would have given a 3 out of 10, but I kind of like the Halo gameplay, despite the fact that it didn't give us no goddamn information. Oh, and the guy who made fun of the Microsoft conference during the Microsoft conference, that was the guys who created um, South Park, actually um, kind of brought it up a touch. So congratulations, Microsoft. You got an extra point from me because of the fact that someone else made fun of your comment, uh, of your of your thing, right? Yeah, go, I'm done. Seriously, it was a fail.